we are here in front of the tomb of the Sheikh Shata, meaning the Sheikh of the Paradox, Ruzbian of Shirazi. Ruz means a day and be auspicious happiness. And Ruzbian was indeed in his life a very auspicious person as he was blessed by God and by very strong spiritual experiences that have changed his life. Since childhood he was attracted to God and he was born in 1128 near Shiraz and he lived around 80 years and died in the 1209 having established in this place that you are seeing here is Kanganat, meaning his holy places where he stayed in the last years of his life and teaching to his pupils. He traveled, he went to Mecca, he found also some peers, some masters, but indeed he was one of these beings who are called Ohazi meaning the ones that have no direct physical master or peer but have a connection with the vertical hierarchy of higher beings which in Islam has its main pole, Khazr Khazr, the kind of correspondence to the 12th Iman or in a certain way this invisible master that comes to the higher spiritual beings. So he was an Ohazi and this Rabat was edified by himself with the intention to serve the friends of God that was established when it was constituted under his ideas and visions. What can we say about his visions from childhood? He was being attracted to the beloved, to the unity of God, and he has received some special visions that established him as our, our Haulia, Haulia, meaning a friend of God. And that higher state has been given by him a nice expression in his diaries. So he has very beautiful diaries where he expresses his beauty and love should be together. And it is said that in his young years he was leaving everything in his search of this communion with God and of visions. And he was blessed indeed with them. He will read a small excerpt of his diary that it can be felt as an important way of understanding his teachings. I will translate it from the French edition of Henri Corbin, who has made it on a nice work, an introduction in French, and then we have all the text that is in Farsi. In his 32, 33 pages, he speaks that when he was beginning his meditations, his art was found to the practice of the dik, meaning the repetition of the holy name of God, and to devotion. He says also, I began to put in my search or quest of the secret. Secret is I word means in in is in Farsi sir, so means the the higher conscious, the deeper conscious of the heart, the Tao, and so he began to search for the secret, and he was doing his learning. After some time, it began. He says, I began to feel in my heart the esk, meaning this love and wish and aspiration and desire for the God and for spiritual realization. And then he began, I say, 
he says, I began to feel my heart being merged in this love. So that was his experience of expanding his heart and feeling more and more the unity with God's love, the ocean of love. It, is, it says then, at that time, I was all the time feeling a kind of nostalgia, or we would say in Portuguese, so dark. As at this time, my heart was merging, was really swimming and entering into the ocean of the remembrance of the pre-existence eternal. This meaning that he was really attaining a very high stage of memory, going behind the manifestation to the highest stage when all spirits, all the root, were existing in God and he felt that. And then he said that he was feeling also the perfumes of the celestial world. And then after he says, that becomes bursting me, surging up intuitions, insights of ecstasies without physical commotion but with a certain softness and sweetness in my heart and with tears in my eyes. At that time I was also seeing myself in a state of union with all beings, being seen as with beautiful faces and at that time that was seeing the beauty of God everywhere pervading, I was also making some retreats where I was spreading some prayers and some kind of monologues and dialogues with God, it's called Mona, Jat, some practice of devotion and also going in pilgrimage and visiting the sheikhs and Sufis. And then he has listened at a certain moment, you are a Nabi, that means a prophet. And he was at that moment established that uh, he was becoming more and more a spiritual being with a higher state. These teachings have also become, in a certain way, developed in his life as he was a preacher for many, many years in the mosque nearby. And in this mosque, he was giving his teachings and his strong state of love. And this strong state of love, it is also said to be exposed in this first time he went to the mosque to pray. He just said at that time, as he was seeing a woman saying to his beautiful daughter, cover yourself, don't show your beauty. And then Ruzbean was really saying and feeling, no, mother, you should leave thy daughter show his beauty, because beauty and love has made a pact from the pre-eternity to be together. And so you should allow the beauty to come and to make this world better and to appear love as beauty make us feel love and this beauty and love are from God and so this no separation between the woman love and the beauty of the manifestation of the creatures and the beauty of God it was by Ruzbean very much developed and so we can say that he was like the friends of God, or the Fidele de Amore, or these Cavaleiros de Amore in Portuguese tradition, that were these beings who united the love of the human being with the love of God. And so Ruzbean was really attaining a higher stage of this unity of the created and uncreated. And there was no gap for him. So in the flowers, in the beauty of the faces and of the beings, and even in the music, he was really feeling that blessing of God, this union between the Taoid and the transcendental and this manifestation in the world of the creatures. So 
when he was dancing some people were also saying oh how he's doing this sama uh, but and one of the preachers the mullahs from a mosque nearby have come one day to see and the other day when he come back he is exclusive to have any suspicions about Ruzbian and told no even if there was some angels present there they will be dancing with Ruzbian in his summer and so we are here paying homage of uh, this higher being that this tomb is here and has left so nice teachings that we can find still in these books and alive in some of us who feel more that the beloved one should be searched and found with the beauty and with love and with this quest of the discovering our inner Tao, our inner art and through contemplation and meditation become more and more a reliable channel for this state of love and bliss that comes from God and that Ruzbeyan has so much seen and experienced it in his life. We are going to have a small reading of the text that was written by him in his diary and that was coming from his teachings and we will read it from his beginning. It is, is the first chapter of his Jasmine the of the lovers faithfuls, the Kitab Abar al Ishikin. Kitab Abar al Ishikin. Or we will see what he says. In this first chapter, he says, My friend, may you understand. May God favorize the comprehension and the time of your love. That, and I have finished my human condition of ignorance, of, of servant, servant of the unconscious, and I became entering in the world of the divine condition, the ruby heart. And then I have contemplated the beauty of the celestial world, the Malakut, with a, a, a kind of sing, a high celestial, a Malakuti. And then I co began to travel on the ways and stations that were bounded or marked by inner revelations, the Mosca shaft, and at the table of the spiritual and poor beings, the Ruyanyayan, he found and he tasted the best mystical stations and the charismas, the karamat. And as he was in the company of the birds of the throne of course, he began to fly to the higher sphere of the Helion. He contemplated, I say, I contemplated the, manif the poor and theophany, manifestation of God, in which the vision of the divine being, blessed and exalted be his name, was seen with the, its own seeing of the, his unity. And then my, the love for this higher majesty awakened in myself an intimate feeling and tasting in my soul that it was like drinking in the cup, in the grail, in the jammy jam of the pure beauty. And so the love of uncreated love entered into my heart and make it be dressed in a vestment of the higher knowledge and the most primordial intuition. And then it says also, I become strong enough to swim in this ocean of the mystic nost, the Marifat or Elfan, and crossing the abyss, going on the boat of the wisdom, he 
I cross all the realities that were submissive to the elements, the Kariyat, and to the realities of the subtle world, where there we found the softness, the loftiat. And then I entered into the rivers and coasts of the attributes of the divine operation, and gradually, by the higher knowledges, I became inif unified, tawid, individualize it, tafrid, and immaterialize it, tashat. And I began to enter more and more in the universe of the pre eternity. And then he, re I, he says, I receive the vestment, the dressing of the increative. I listen to the sublimity, the magnificent, the exultation, the beauty, the proximity. And my fana, my extinction by my own power of unification reveals to myself. And it has extinguished to my condition of creature. And then I began tell as I was in the to the looking of the creative, and I became a sur existent in the sur existence. And so the divine being put me at his side, took me out of my conservative condition and made me a man free and told me, now you are a faithful of love, a fedele d'amore, un cavaliero d'amore, and a lover, un amante, an ama, an ami, an etre de désir, un amigo, and a friend, a man of desire, men live free, a shatter, a paradoxal, agnostic, and a being of beauty, an unitive and veridic. And so, so now become a creator by your own, by listening to my own audition, by speaking my own speaking, and by commanding by my own commanding and love by my love, as now you are friends of Walia in the true sense, and to, you are under my protection, under my wing, and you will be protected by my grace. And although you will be proved by the tribulations of the life, I will be around you. And I will see what you, is your worth. And whenever someone loves you, this person will be also helped and graced by myself. From this moment you are pertaining to the, my number of friends. And so we have come here to present our salutations to Ruzbeh. Now there is some breeze coming from this shrine in this the center of Shiraz and we have come here with the help of Mr. Morali and the help of Mr. Kamali and we are so giving this beautiful image and teasings of this great thing, the Ruzbean of Palpatine.